With the recent success of the Resident Evil 4 remake, I think the time is perfect to show some love for the other zombie franchise from Capcom, Dead Rising, and how I think a head-to-toe remake could possibly be... FANTASTIC! So as a kid, I never played the original Resident Evil games. The first one I did play was actually Code Veronica, but now having played the remakes of Resident Evil 2, 3, and now 4, I find myself wondering, where's the remake of the Capcom zombie game I actually did grow up playing, which is the original Dead Rising. Dead Rising 1, in my opinion, is the best of all the Dead Rising games, and I believe it is worthy of that Capcom-style remake like we've seen with the newer Resident Evil games, and that is the goal of this video, to convince you that Resident Evil 1 is worthy of that quality and style of Resident remake but guys if you're new to my channel welcome to live from my basement where I make new videos like this every single week so be sure to subscribe if you like the video and hit the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video but guys let's let's talk about Dead Rising in Dead Rising you are Frank West a freelance photojournalist with an eye for capturing that perfect snapshot perfect hey this is no time to ogle pretty girls son but when reports of large riots in Willamette, Colorado come across Frank's desk, it seems just like any other job, until... ZOMBIES! You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Zombies have infested the sleepy mountain town and trapped what few survivors are left inside the Willamette Mall, and it seems like the barricades might actually hold until this happens. Watch out, watch out, watch out! What in the hell are you people doing? Which of course leads them all to being overrun by zombies. And I feel like that premise alone, the idea of having an entire mall to explore uh, on skateboard, if you wish, where everything and anything is a weapon. That's Dead Rising, and that idea, I think, is worthy of a remake. And, uh, I mean, guys, look. Look at this. This is crazy. This came out in 2006. I mean, that, that that's pretty impressive. Look at all these zombies, man. Popping into the hardware store just so I can grab a chainsaw so I can cut my way out of here. God dang, look at that. This, this game could be so gruesome. Look at how bloody I am. That's, that's, that's crazy. Is that the headshots? Look at the blood, dude. I just shot those dudes in the face. Look at like a gallon of blood flies out of them. And it's, it's crazy. There's like no ragdoll physics or anything like that. But even still, like the amount of brutality on screen it shows that it could be like completely gnarly and gory and gruesome at the same time ridiculous and hilarious and i feel like that novelty is why dead rising was so much fun back in the day and that novelty would sell today if you can you imagine if you made a mall in 2023 dead rising style where everything and anything is a weapon like what what would the weapons be instead of throwing like cassette tapes at zombies maybe we'd be throwing i don't know like Fucking vape pins and shit. The idea of like all the funny shit you could think of as weapons in a mall in 2023, throwing fidget spinners and shit at zombies. I, I think it would be hysterical. I feel like I'd buy it just to see with what creative ways you'd be like gruesomely killing zombies with in a mall in 2023. I mean, it, I'm all for it. Oh my god. I, I honestly did not expect him to be able to break through the glass like that. That is wild. I was just thinking, like, that'd be cool if they had, like, unique animations, like, allowing them to, like, put their hands on the glass and, like, leave bloody handprints on the on the glass. And, and then they, they, just, they just broke through. But as a kid, I used to love going into, like, different restaurants and stuff and barricading the entrances so they couldn't get in. And I, I loved it. I'd hang out here and throw pies at zombies but you know one of the reasons that dead rising needs a, a remake and not just a remaster is that the original dead rising has issues like for example making this barricade was a lot harder than it needed to be but it's small things like the ever ringing walkie talkie and that every area in the game is actually divided by a loading screen things like that that just plagued the game because it came out in 2006 i hate that walkie talkie <laughs> I mean, the fact that I have to, like, try to find a place to hide to answer the walkie-talkie just so the ringing stops for the sake of this video is insane and one of the many reasons why it needs to be removed. It's, it's the worst. 
<laughs> oh my god, I jumped into this fountain with one block of health left. <laughs> and they're all swinging at me trying to get at me. It's great. But, like, it's it's all the things you could fix in the original Dead Rising to make it better. And the ideas of everything you could add, uh, you know, that make me just want to see a remake. I mean, could you imagine if every time I shot a zombie in the face in, in Dead Rising, it had the crazy headshot effects that you see in the remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 3 and 4. I mean, I, I, the, just aesthetically, graphically, what you could do with this this kind of sandbox, with the, with the quality that you see in the remakes of the newer Resident Evil games, it's incredible. The replay value, the fact that I'm able to jump into Dead Rising, a game from 2006, and have just a blast just throwing stuff at zombies... And having, like, just being, having ridiculous fun, while at the same time, it kind of freaking you out when you start to, you know, your barricades start to fall, and literally thousands of zombies are trying to get you, and you have one bar of health left. It's horror and comedy at the same time, and, I, and that will never get old. And I think the perfect way to end this video is take this shower head and just stick it on this dude's head, because not only is that brutal and disgusting, it's, it's also kind of hilarious and that's that's dead rising and it deserves a remake <laughs> But at the end of the day, guys, it's that limitless sandbox, make your own fun gameplay of Dead Rising that I feel is worthy of a remake in 2023. Just the idea of having a much expanded mall that's filled with new stores and that are each filled to the brim with new unique weapons that can kill zombies, not only in really gory and graphic ways, but are also hilarious to use. That idea sells today just as well as it did back in 2006. Just take the idea of the original Dead Rising where you, the player, are trapped in a mall where everything and anything is a weapon that's just infested with with thousands of zombies that idea still works just remake that idea don't remaster dead rising remake it from the ground up just make it with today's technology new ideas brought to the table just take that core idea of being just stranded in a mall with thousands of zombies where anything's a weapon and make that game today i just feel like that idea has unlimited possibilities and if you remove the limitations of just being a remaster and go for a full-blown remake that's just trying to be the best possible game it can aimed at that vision we will not only have the best dead rising game but one of the most fun zombie games i think ever but guys that is all i have for this video if you guys want to see a remake of dead rising be sure to drop a like on this video and let me know down in the comments if they did make a remake of dead rising what crazy wacky weapons that are like modern tropes of today would you want to see in that remake let me know down in the comments i can't wait to read those but guys that's all i have for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs>